Ever wondered what it's like shopping in Nicaragua? I'm Jay. And I'm John. And we're bucket list travellers. We'll be shopping at La Union and La Colonia supermarket in Granada, Nicaragua. We're living in Nicaragua during COVID and we're sharing our experiences of living in this beautiful country. We'll be uploading a new video each week. So to see more videos like this, as well as great travel inspiration, don't forget to subscribe. Today, we're gonna to give you a slice of expat life in Granada, Nicaragua. The cost of living in Nicaragua is generally much cheaper than other countries, but we found supermarket prices to be similar to Western countries. There are three main supermarkets in Granada, Nicaragua, La Union, La Colonia, and Maxi Pali. We're outside La Union and La Colonia is just across the road. These shops are just 10 minutes walk from the centre of Granada and there is plenty of parking on site. Maxipali is roughly a 15 minute walk from the centre, albeit in the opposite direction. Maxipali is cheaper than the other two stores, but there are typically longer lines at the checkout. One unique feature of Maxipali is that it also sells TVs, electronics, kitchen appliances and other household goods. These supermarkets, or supermercados in Spanish, are open seven days a week from around 8am till late in the evening. Maxipali and La Union are both owned by Walmart, and La Colonia is a locally owned company. I'm just leaving our bags at the front, you've got to do that everywhere. Grocery shopping in Nicaragua is surprisingly similar to what you'd find in Western countries. We tend to go to La Union for fruit and vegetables, and staples such as flour, as they are slightly cheaper than La Colonia. This two kilo bag of flour is 60 Cordobas, or $2 US. The food isn't as nicely presented as La Colonia, but we aren't fussy. Lately we've been getting most of our fresh fruit and vegetables from the Marchantas, or local street vendors, who bring the food straight to our door. This is very convenient cheaper than the supermarkets and it allows us to support the local economy. One thing in the seasoning section that I haven't found yet is garam masala. It's really good for Indian dishes. Unfortunately I can't find it anywhere. No drums though. There are still restrictions on certain staples as you can see here. The same goes for pasta and tuna. La Colonia is like a whole food supermarket that you would get in other countries. They have a wide range of groceries and imported foods, but you are going to pay more for the privilege. The quality of the fresh food is the highest that you'll get in Granada. Here at La Colonia, you'll find more imported foods. There's a whole range of Asian sauces. Oh, the fish sauce is 233. You're definitely paying for the privilege. They also have Italian gnocchi. It's a pretty good range. Both La Colonia and La Union sell alcohol, which is a bit different to supermarkets back in Australia. We found La Union to be slightly cheaper for what they offer, but La Colonia has a much wider range to choose from. Since the start of COVID, the supermarkets in Nicaragua have been very proactive with their COVID protocols. They provide hand sanitizer, shoe sanitizer mats at the entrance, and there's someone at the front door that takes your temperature before you enter. There's even plexiglass dividers at the checkout, like what you'd see in vice presidential debates. They advertise different visitor times encouraging older customers and other vulnerable customers to come before 8am in the morning. Keep in mind that Spanish is the official language of Nicaragua, so all signs and food labels are in Spanish. We made the mistake of going off the picture rather than reading the label once, and accidentally bought baby formula rather than powdered milk. 
The local currency in Nicaragua are Cordobas, and these supermarkets accept both cash or card. There are ATMs inside each store, which dispense both US dollars and Nicaraguan Cordobas. Apart from the two supermarkets, there's also a furniture and electronics store and a pizza place in the shopping complex. There's nothing better than finishing off a successful shopping trip in Granada with a family-sized pizza from Pizza Vale. We are bucket list travellers. Bon provecho.